Welcome everybody. We'll do more than uh, just standing here talking. Uh, we're going to walk around and, and uh, meet all the plants. But I first wanted to just do a little, my teachers have taught me kind of to get in the moment. I'm just going to do a little drumming. If you would like to close your eyes and take some deep breaths or just watch me, that's fine. I'm just going to do a little drumming uh, to get us into the moment. with warts if you put it on a wart. So it's an incredible healing plant. I mean, I'm even just touching the surface of what it can do. So I have a whole book on dandelion medicine. So it's just keep them in your lawn. <laughs> um, just be sure that your lawn's not treated. Or if you harvest it from somewhere, be sure it's not treated with pesticides. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, yeah. And they're very important to the bees, right? Exactly. The bees first food in the spring. The bees. You found plantain? I guess that's the next one. Oh. Does everybody know plantain? We used it the other day, didn't we? Do you remember you used it? You used it? Can you tell us what you did? What did you do? Oh, girls. Yeah, and an important here? thing to know also is um, it will draw if you have a tick that's attached and you pull it, be sure to pull it off with a tweezer. Don't use anything but tweezers to get the tick out. And um, chew up plantain and put it on. It will take, if there's any lime in what the tick left, it will pull it out. It will not go in your system. So that's really important to know. So this is calendula. It's also good for internally for inflammation. It's great for an oil for your dry skin. I put it in a salve for dry skin or dry for rash or things like that. For nature. So if you want to pass it around. For nature. Yeah, for nature. For Favorite few. Okay. Oh, that's oh yeah. My mom used to have a ton of that. So you can chew the leaves for a migraine headache. And you can dry it to a Wow. What are you doing in your Beaver few. The flower looks a lot like chamomile. You have to get a little larger. This is all time here, huh? It's not in bloom. The honeybees absolutely love it. In the summer, this is just loaded with honeybees. Um, when it is in bloom, it's beautiful. It's, not, it's beautiful when it's not in bloom. I mean, it's a culinary herb, but it's also used medicinally. Dried, it's great for uh, colds and flu, for cough. You can make a honey out of it. I don't know if anyone's ever done herbal honey. Even chai blossoms, you can put infused in honey and then use that in your tea yeah. or on your toast. Um, and thyme's a good one to do that with also. And lavender, but you can't find it. Oh, goldenrod is one of my favorite plants right now. And to 
You hear in the new goldenrods in bloom, it's Rainy allergy season. Well, well they don't cause, a goldenrod does not Rainy cause allergies. Mm. Yeah. Right. It's in full glory when the allergy season happens, so it gets blamed for allergies. It actually yeah. helps allergies. It will help sinusitis from the heart. Um, it's good as a tea. You can make an herbal honey out of the petals. It's just, it's divine. It's just incredibly painful. The petals of the hybrid You just have to be cautious when you're harvesting because there are thorns, but if you go gently and harvest, you know, the thorns. So it helps with, with pot? With the pot? Yep. It will calm your heart. The petals or the, uh, the petals? Yeah. Right, yeah. yep. It's wonderful addition to tea. You could just eat a petal if you want right now. Yeah, you can eat a petal. Yeah. You can eat a petal. Yeah. Yeah. You can eat a petal. Yeah. 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 Uh, Native Americans call it the tree of peace. Um, it will make an incredible oil if you infuse the needles in oil for arthritis or any swelling. Um, you can eat. Mommy! On long travels, they would nibble on the, the needles. You can also dry it in a powder and they would carry the powder with them for energy. And there's high vitamin C in the needles. So you're welcome to have high vitamin C. <laughs> and a little bit of earth on this is good. They say that you know they tell us about probiotics and taking probiotics. Why are you ripping it? A little bit of the earth. If you know it hasn't been chemically treated, it's okay. It's a good treat. We're so a society of we need to be so clean, but some of that's good. So as long as you know the source of where you get it from. And what he's doing right now is perfect because they say your own saliva is healing. So him doing it himself is really a good thing. Is that chewed up enough? I chew it a little more, a little maybe more, a couple more pieces. <laughs> he's like, oh. <laughs> I, I'll chew it for you if you don't want to. But I'm not I'm, much of a plan. I'm very proud of you for doing yeah. that yourself. That is wonderful. Guy. <laughs> yeah. This is hands-on herbalism right here. First aid, so this is pretty cool. Mm. You can make an oil out of plantain also, and it's a great addition to sobs. It may heal up that a little bit too for you. Well, it's fine. I don't feel anything then. No? Okay. Yeah, that's when you fell on the bike, right, bud? Yeah, uh, and remember when I just skinned a little it. Bit it like two yeah. years it's ago. not a clean, you know, it, it's clean, but it's messy. Yeah, I know that. That's why I was saying it doesn't hurt anymore. Yeah. There's nothing wrong. Oh, a little bit more. Thank you, sweetie. <coughs> That's cute. Yeah. But I have one on my knee. Yeah, that one. I think I think these are the most are mostly the place where you get wowies. Yeah.